HIP Field Installable is the market's first field installable hardened connector. It provides the perfect solution for drop fiber deployment, drop damage, environmental damage, and connection failure. The HIP Field Installable only requires typical fiber tools and can be completed with a simple three-step process that utilizes the template guide. Installation of the connector can be completed on the back of any technician's vehicle. Let's take a look at the process. Here are the tools required. The toolkit is also available for purchase through Multilink. Each connector comes with the following pieces. We will start by cutting the outer jacketing. Cut at least the width of the connector template. Peel back and cut away the outer jacketing. And also cut the central strength members. You will need to slide on the following pieces in this order. Align the outer jacketing in the proper position on step one of the template. Mark the three millimeter jacketing at the three millimeter line. We then need to strip off the three millimeter jacketing from this mark. Next, we will cut the Kevlar strands, place the cable back on step one of the template and mark the 900 micron at the 900 micron line. Strip down to the 125 micron bare fiber from this mark as well. Make sure to clean the fiber with a clean alcohol wipe to ensure the best possible connection. Seat the fiber in the cleaver so the end of the 900 micron is on the 17 millimeter line of the cleaver and proceed with cleaving the fiber. Slide on the connector boot. Remove the retainer clip from the connector and place it into step two of the template with the window facing up. Slide the fiber into the connector until it is fully seated. Once achieved, press down on the window, locking the fiber into place. Slide the boot up into the connector. Remove the dust cap and apply the light source to the connector. The window should have a dimmed glow, ensuring the fiber is properly seated. Remove the light source and put the dust cap back on. Use standard testing procedures at this point if required. If the window is glowing bright red, the fiber is not properly seated. Attach the retainer clip, remove the connector, and repeat connector installation steps. Place the cable and connector into step 3 of the template and slide the crimp ring into place with one of the ears facing upward. Using the crimp tool, crimp the ring down. Turn the crimp ring over and repeat. Locate the connector housing and break apart the three pieces. Place the two smaller pieces over the crimp ring like so. On the larger piece, locate the side that says top and align that with the window side of the connector. Slide the housing over the connector and lock it into place. Slide the heat shrink up and use a heat source to shrink it onto the housing. Slide the threaded piece up into place. Followed by the housing boot.
Screw the cap on over the connector and your cable is now ready to plug into your service terminal.